Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah Nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'kfiruhu wa nu'minu bihi wa natawakkalu alayhi wa na'udhu billahi min syururi anfusina wa min sayyati amalina man yahdi Allahu falamudillala wa man yudlil falahadiyala wa ashadu an la ilaha illa Allahu wahdahu la sharika la wa ashadu anna sayyidina muhammadan abduhu wa rasulun amma ba'd yaqulu Allahu ta'ala fil qur'an al-'azim a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim bismillahi r-rahmani r-rahim wa la tahinu wa la tahzanu wa antum wa antum al-'alawna in kuntum mu'minin sadaqallahu al-'azim all praises are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We glorify Allah. We thank our creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his blessings and his favors upon us. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the health that he has given to us, good health. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the, the safety that we are living under. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his protection. And we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this day, the day of Jumu'ah, where as believers, we have answered the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and here we are to remember our Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We glorify Allah and we send salutation on our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and on his companions until the end of time. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, we live in a time in which Daily, we are being faced with destruction, killing. We, we live in a time where there is so much poverty, starvation, and sometimes you become overwhelmed with sadness, you become overwhelmed with the fact that you are trying and others are trying, and it seems that there is no hope and everything has been lost. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, yes, it's okay to be sad when you look at what is happening around you in the world today. Even the greats, the elites, they had those moments of sadness. Yaqub alayhi salam, he was so sad that he cried until he lost his vision. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was also sad at the last of his uncle, Abu Talib, and his wife Khadija, so much so that that year it is called the year of sadness. But sadness must not put us 
in a state of hopelessness and sadness must not cause us to go in a state of depression. As believers, we always look to the fact that everything is done by the plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It, and it, it's not under our control. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He reminds us in the Quran, He says, Do not lose heart, nor faith, nor fall into despair. You shall triumph if you are indeed believers my dear brothers and my dear sisters even those before us when they were faced with trials and tribulations when they were faced with difficulties when they were faced with challenges the cry was Mata Nasrullah, when will when will the help of Allah come? Allah in Nasrullah Qareeb Verily the help of Allah is near. And we should never lose sight of that fact. People can become very weak in terms of their faith. And people, some can lose faith and walk away from what they really believed in because they're hoping for victory they're hoping for calm, peace they're hoping for some security they're hoping that people would live lives of comfort and, and happiness and, and when this is not being seen when you see that evil is ha having the upper hand over good people question and they lose faith I say to you my dear brothers and my dear sisters Allah, He reminds us in the Qur'an, سَيَجْعَلُ اللَّهِ بَعْدَ أُسْرٍ يُسْرَ Verily, Allah will grant ease after difficulty. فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْأُسْرِ يُسْرَ إِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, after difficulty comes ease. And then He repeated it, after difficulty, indeed, after difficulty comes ease. We must never lose hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala la taqnatu min rahmatillah do not lose hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala my dear brothers and my dear sisters uh, 
There are times when things happen in our lives and we feel very disappointed. You have tried so hard with your sons and daughters and you do not like the result. And so you are disappointed. You have tried so hard with your families and you do not like what you, have, what you are seeing. And so you are disappointed. As, as community, community leaders try so hard to bring people together, to educate them, give so many wonderful programs, and then you don't see people uh, receiving it the way that you would like them to receive it, and you feel disappointed. And there are times when people with those disappointment, they go into solitude. They just stay away and don't care about anything else. Let us always remember that if you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there will always be a way out. And he who has taqwa, he who has piety, righteousness, there will always be a way out for him. Allah will get him out of every difficult situation. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and he will grant him sustenance from places that he never imagined. And so, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, it is important that we focus on that which matters with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not allow disappointments, do not allow this sadness, this grief, because of what we see around us, whether it is in our homes, in our communities, in our country, in the world itself. Let us always remember that what matters with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is our piety, our righteousness, our God-fearingness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, وَمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُوا لِقَاءَ رَبِّهِ فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا وَلَا يُشْرِكْ بِعِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ أَحَدًا And he who has that hope of meeting with his Lord, let him continue to do good things, good pious deeds, righteous deeds. The, the result is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You, you may do pious, righteous deeds all your life and you're not seeing what you want to see. But despair not, have hope in the rahmah, in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember that one day you will meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah says with that meeting, you must be people who are doing good and you do not associate any partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the worship of Allah, there is no association of partners. But you continue to worship Allah sincerely. 
And, and, and it's not just praying and fasting and making hajj. But all those good deeds that you do, let sincerity be the focus that it's, I'm doing this for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever Allah wants the outcome to be, it will be. Allah says, Kun fayakun, be and it is. And that's how we look at life, my dear brothers and my dear sisters. Never give up. You know, millions, billions is being poured into helping the people of Palestine, the people of Gaza, so that they can have food and water, so that they can stem off the starvation, the difficulty that they are going through. And every time you look, you see that what you have poured into them, it's like it hasn't made any impact. And not only them, in other parts of the world, you see millions are facing starvation in Sudan, in, in, in Afghanistan, in Bangladesh, in Pakistan, in so many other places. And people are pouring into helping them with their resources. The outcome is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We want to meet with Allah. And so Allah says, continue to do righteous, pious deeds, have the right intention. And when it comes to the worship of your Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala associate nothing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, life can be difficult because in life we will be faced with trials and tribulations we will be faced with challenges and difficulties Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says in the Quran very famous Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says and we will certainly test you with something of fear and hunger and through the loss of lives and property, wealth, crops. But give glad tidings to those who have patience when they are being afflicted with calamity, when they are being afflicted with difficulty, with challenges, they have patience. They put their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they always remember that to Allah they belong and to him is the return my dear brothers and my dear sisters again always remember that Allah is in control do your best with sincerity with the class and leave the rest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You want to be successful. All of us, we want to be successful. Allah, he says in the Quran, Inna lil muttaqina mafaza. Verily, the muttaqun, the righteous, the pious ones, they are the ones 
who will earn success. They are the ones who would be successful. And so, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, remember that Allah has blessed you in so many different ways. And so continue to show your gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his blessings and his favors upon you. Remember that if we were to count the blessings and favors of Allah, we will never be able to count them. وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا And if you were to try to count the blessings, the favors of Allah, you will never be able to count them. Give thanks. Show gratitude. لَإِن شَكَّرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ If you are thankful, if you are grateful, we will certainly increase you. This is what Allah has promised us in the glorious Quran. And so today, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, I just wanted to remind you that yes, in life, we will go through those moments where we become sad And we, we wonder when there will be changes or when things would be different. And that's what believers do to one another. We, we help each other to remain focused and not to go into a state of despair, depression, and hopelessness. We help one another because the believers, they are, as Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, المؤمن للمؤمن كالبنيان يشد بعده بعدا The believer to another believer is like the pillars of a building. We hold each other form. We show concern for each other. مثل المؤمنين في توادهم وتراهمهم وتعاتفهم مثل الجسد إذا اشتكى منه عدو تدعى له سائر الجسد بسهر والهمة وكما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم The likeness of the believers in their compassion, their love, their kindness unto one another is like one single body When a part of the body aches, it affects the entire body when one of us have challenges, difficulties, then we should all come to the aid and the help of that person. That's how we look to help one another. And I'm sure that when you look at the news and what you have seen over the last couple of days, how much things have intensified in terms of destruction and killing of innocent people, in terms of starvation, in terms of uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the difficulties that people are going through in their lives. You are also you know, experiencing that sadness. And so today I wanted to reach out 
and to say to you that it is normal. But let us not lose hope in Allah. Let us not allow this sadness to send us into a state of depression. For verily, with difficulty comes ease. And yes, indeed, Nasrullah Karib, the help of Allah, is indeed near. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant victory to our brothers and sisters in Gaza, in Palestine. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us, give us good in this life and good in the life hereafter. And may he save us from the torment of the hellfire. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمن المؤمنات من كل ذنب فاستغفرون إنه هو الغفور الرحيم Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahabihi ajma'een ridwanullahi alayhim ila yawmiddin amma ba'd My dear brothers and my dear sisters, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam through his example and through all the various ahadiths that we have heard on this topic, he has reminded us that there is power and there is strength, there is hope in dua. And so continue to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are times when you feel that there is nothing else that can be done. Don't forget this important tool that you have, dua. Make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You don't know when and in what fashion it will be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah, he says in the Quran, Udu'uni astajib lakum, call upon me, and I will answer your prayers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he makes a promise, Allah does not go back on his promise. And always remember, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, to stay connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do whatever you can with sincerity and always remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that hopelessness, that depression, the loss of comfort, it will be removed. Verily, through the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is comfort, there is peace of mind, there is tranquility. And so, always make dua and always remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And insha'Allah, we pray that in our lifetime that we would see the help that Allah has promised us and the believers will once again triumph and they will have what Allah has written for them. وَلِلَّهِ الْعِزَّةُ وَلِرَسُولِهِ وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ And to Allah belongs his prestige, honor to his Prophet 
Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to the believers we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala once again help us to experience that prestige and honor that he says is, it is for the believers don't lose faith my dear brothers and my dear sisters and every day continue to strive to increase your iman your faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala لقد أمرنا الله سبحانه وتعالى في القرآن العظيم حيث قال إن الله ملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وأرضى الله من خلفائه الأربعة أبي بكر وعمر وثمان وعليم ونستة الباقين وبشرين بالجنة ونسائر الصحابة ونتابعين ومن تبعهم بسان لا يوم الدين اللهم عز إسلام والمسلمين اللهم نور قلوبنا بنور الإيمان وثبت قلوبنا على دين الإسلام ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك روف رحيم اللهم تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض لكم تذكرون فاشكروا الله على نعمه واذكروه على آلائه ولا ذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون أقم الصلاة